Next question is from Hades Gray. What exercise should we and shouldn't we do when we are doing low reps? Okay, so technically uh, any exercise can be done with low reps, but some exercises just lend themselves better to low reps and others mm -hmm. not so much. Typically, generally speaking, it's the single joint isolation exercises that tend to not be so, you know, done so well with low reps. And it's the compound lifts mm -hmm. that tend to work better with low reps. Now, why is that? Well, when you're doing a single joint exercise, like a, a side lateral, let's use that as an example, right? That's for the shoulders, right? When I'm doing low rep, when I'm doing, first of all, when I'm doing that exercise, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to really isolate the lateral head of my shoulder. I'm trying to really feel it in my shoulder. If I wanted to, I could lift more weight by utilizing the muscles of my upper back and my traps and momentum. momentum. Yeah, right. And so it just becomes but so- that takes away from the intent. Yes, and it, it becomes like such a, a struggle to do like four heavy reps of side laterals and not turn it into you know, an yeah. upper back exercise, which is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Now with squats or deadlifts or bench press, um, it's much easier to maintain good form and go low reps. But those isolation exercises- they can be a bit tough with the low reps. So I it's okay to do lower reps typically with the isolation stuff, but I don't like to go below like eight reps with that kind of stuff because I've just found even with myself, yeah. my form starts to go off. Well, that's the, the biggest things. thing for me, and I've seen this in the gym and the side lateral is a great example of when you see somebody like that and they add a little English to it, it's like now they're getting uh, you know, this momentum that they're kind of thrusting their hips into it, you know, they're they're leaning back with their shoulders, uh, you know, they're incorporating their upper back muscles, mm -hmm. they're just a lot more things have to happen to move that heavier weight up versus like really just honing in and and, and and doing what your your intention is to really try to to activate more specifically, you know, your deltoids in this. Now we've answered this question several times on the show over the last you know five six years, and every time we do, we always get somebody who messages somewhere, you know, and tries to argue or debate it. Or you know, here's the thing: this question's presented in shouldn't and should, and it's not it's not a shouldn't and should. It's not black or white. Exactly, it's not black or white, and nobody in here is saying that. I've never done three reps of bicep curls. So yes, I have done three reps of bicep curls before. It's just it, they don't lend themselves well to your mm -hmm. point. So I just want to make that clear because I know we'll get some knucklehead that will find that will feel the need to def defend low reps on a lateral raise or low reps on a bicep curl and say it's you know been the best thing for them or whatever. It's just it's not ideal. It doesn't mean you can't do it, and there's not some value to it. Um, because I, I I definitely uh, I did this not that long ago where. I uh, grabbed really heavy weight uh, and did three reps of bicep curls, really slow and controlled. So, but but also the tempo of it. So I was not using English on it. I was still was trying to control and have good form. It was just I couldn't get more than three reps out of it. So it doesn't mean that it's it's worthless. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. And we just always come from a, a trainer's perspective. And when I think of we know what tends to happen. That's right. And yeah. when I think of ninety nine percent of my clientele, you're right. I would never do heavy lateral raises. I would never do concentration curls that where we would do less than six reps. So for the majority- yeah, We're not speaking to the exceptions. Yes. We're trying to give information that like most people benefit from. Yes. 